We're exploring the Frost Science Museum in Miami. The museum has had a couple of different locations over its entire history, but the present location is 250,000 square feet located directly in downtown Miami, and it opened its doors in 2017. This world-renowned state-of-the-art science museum is home to a giant aquarium, a planetarium, and several interactive science exhibits. The Frost Science Center shares a parking garage with the Perez Art Museum, which is located next door. And from the parking garage, you'll navigate to a ramp, which will lead you out to the ticketing counter. So a little bit of real life for you. We just got to the Science Center and realized that Pierce doesn't have a shoe on. Where is it? Did you throw it away? Uh-oh. Now Anthony is having to backtrack all throughout the parking lot to see if we can find the shoe. So that's real life for you. And honestly, I don't see it anywhere, so I guess it's a goodbye for now. Or forever. A ticket to one of the planetarium shows is included with admission, and our show time is 3.40 p.m. So we have to make it back down here by that time. In the meantime, we're going to go explore the power of the ocean. Pierce is really excited about this place. <laughs> We started our exploration of the Science Museum and this exhibit, but very quickly we decided on a change of plans. The Frost Science Center has six floors. The sixth floor is the rooftop, and it's closed due to inclement weather at the moment, but that could clear up at any time because it is Florida. Or it could just remain that way for the rest of the day because it is Florida. So we decided that the best way for us to explore the museum would be to go from the top and work our way back down to the planetarium. The sixth floor is home to a learning center and there's a summer camp which is currently in progress. The other part of the sixth floor was actually closed off at this time, but there are some pretty incredible views to take in. In spite of that, we are very quickly done with this floor and we're ready to move down to the fifth floor where there are actually some more interesting things for us to do. Okay, so now we're ready to truly begin exploring. The fourth level is the top level of the aquarium portion of the museum and it's called the Vista. This section is intended to inspire you with the immensity of the ocean and there are numerous placards surrounding this area telling you all about the size of the ocean. From this section you can actually see just a few marine life swimming around sparsely at the top. Also on this floor you'll be able to observe a Florida coral reef and a stingray touch tank, which due to the inclement weather, we were unable to touch the stingrays at this time. Potential lightning strikes. And then we wandered into the Florida mangroves. <laughs> this was Pierce's favorite because we let him out of the stroller. And it was nice because it's a nice contained area where he can wander around and see all the fish. In the hardwood section, we had the opportunity to see an American alligator. Inside the River of Grass is an interactive projection exhibit that's intended to teach children all about the different animals in the Everglades. And just outside those doors are some water tables, so make sure to bring a change of clothes. Now it's time for us to go to our planetarium presentation about black holes. This is where the planetarium is. We weren't allowed to video inside of the planetarium, which is kind of obvious, but the show was pretty interesting. Pretty soon we were back on our path of exploration. Oh, 
And we went right back up to the fourth floor and we explored the Woolly Mammoth exhibit. Now it's down to floor number three and we're gonna see what's on that floor. We get to continue our aquarium exploration now with the dive. This interactive projector exhibit lets Vivian create her own topographical map by moving the sand around and then the projector above changes the differing levels of elevation. It's pretty incredible to be able to look into this tank from lots of different angles. From here you can really see lots of sharks and rays. And you can explore the mangroves at greater depths and the Florida coral reef. There's a hands-on exhibit where you can dig for fossils. Now we're off to the feathers to the stars. This exhibit is pretty ambitious. It attempts to cover the entire history of flight. There's the combination of displays about birds and animals of flight, along with airplanes and everything in between. So that section was pretty cool. Vivian got to make a paper airplane and then learn how the air carries it. Okay. There are even space shuttles and the Death Star. Inside the med lab, we can learn all about the human body. This display is all about facial expression. And now we're down to floor number two, which actually I thought was gonna be the bottom of the aquarium, but turns out there's no access to it from this side. So we're gonna see the first floor of Me Lab, and we'll have to catch the bottom of the aquarium in the next section from the first floor. Which, of course, there are more interactive health-related exhibits inside. Vivian's enjoying this fun interactive game where she can crush the calories. So now we're back to the ocean gallery, and I think this is where we'll actually be able to see that giant tank from the bottom. Vivian found something that she would rather do instead, but I'm gonna go up and see the bottom of the tank all by myself. This is so amazing, I don't know why. Because it's a giant lens, you can see in lots of different directions. And over here, there's a jellyfish gallery. This is really all Vivian wanted to do the entire time. Of course, there's also a canteen and a gift shop. So update on the shoe saga from earlier. Look what we found. Looks like somebody turned it in. And it they had it in lost and found. Yay for that person. Yay. 